What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Racing Channel. Today is a very exciting day, not only for you guys, but for myself included. Now, we've all been waiting quite a few weeks for this Easter egg, and um, I just got word it's being called Ludicrous Plus. With the usual Easter eggs, you hold down the T sign, you type in some fancy code, and voila, the Easter egg happens, you know, whatever it may be, whether it's the 007 Easter egg or the Mars Easter egg. Now, this is a performance one, so I don't know if they're just gonna give us Ludicrous Plus, it's gonna be a new option, or if we're gonna to have to manually find it. So I've got some ideas how to manually find it. So Ludicrous Plus is now about the fastest thing you can have with the P100D, which is right over here. The bad thing is right now, as you can see, we got about six inches of snow the other day. So there's no drag strips open, none of that, but we got this thing right here called a B-Box. We're gonna do a little uh, zero to 60 test and a quarter mile test to see if we can get the acclaimed 2.4 zero to 60 and a 10.6 quarter mile time. first test just did 0 to 60 on the V-Box it said 2.4 and it usually rounds up so that means it was definitely 2.4 forward under or something like that and uh, I'm a, it doesn't say the quarter mile time but it, it had to be a good solid 10.6 I mean this thing is wicked fast it just blew my mind <laughs> Also, our V-Box does account for altitude, so in case any of you guys are wondering, oh, we might be flooring it downhill, don't worry, we've got our V-Box reading altitude, and uh, it's got the stop height and the, and the ending height of which the uh, run was done at. Depending on how much elevation change there was, it'll either give you a, a valid result or an invalid result. So we might All the There's a few things I want to address because this car is absolutely ludicrous. I mean, this thing is crazy. It's done some amazing things I never thought would be possible for an electric car at all. And uh, if you look back, now Tesla's been doing this for a few years now. And when they first started, they came out with the P85D, or no, just the P85 Plus, which is rear wheel drive. And it was running like 12s in the quarter mile. Now, I look at Tesla first taking off when they first released the P85D with insane mode and they said it would run 11 sevens and it did it ran even 11 sixes and we even got an 11 five nine pass out of it but fast forward two years from now and this car is running supposedly 10 60s now which is a full second faster than when they first produced it and it, but the problem is zero to 60 sells cars but eighth mile times and quarter mile times win races now 2.4 zero to 60 is awesome but if i could just get a consistent 670 or 10 six quarter mile time that'd be awesome you know nowadays with this car you really have to have great surface to start out on to really get the full potential out of your car now looking at the p85d which has held up amazingly if i mean for anybody thinking of how these cars hold up when drag raced let's just think we've got 56,000 miles on that car in two years it's done well over 100 drag strip passes easy and that's just at the drag strip launching not counting on the street and this and it's literally it's been to the finals four times in competition races against real drag cars and two of those times it has won so that thing has two wins under its belt and it's crazy i mean it's held up immensely and it has no problems i mean it, we literally haven't replaced anything but tires in 56,000 miles with that car so it holds, holds up great but i really wish tesla would focus more on performance with these cars now they have performance and this is a luxury car don't get me wrong but the potential with this thing is a crazy i mean even GTRs, once you get them modified, they have an option where, I don't know what exactly it is, if it's in the traction control system or just the uh, uh, engine management system, but they can literally disable the front 
and just put all the power to the back tires and they're able to do a burnout i mean these these eight second quarter mile gtrs are having to do burnouts on some big old tires to get traction so gtrs are having to do burnouts to hook now i wish they i know they could reduce something to only allow power to the rears for a short amount of time to do a burnout i mean we've definitely considered putting some mickey thompson's on this and i've actually spec the car out i know what wheels to get i know what tires to get but the potential is there for this thing to be a full race electric car i mean with getting in the uh, launch control for instance launch control is a little bit faster but it's incredibly hard to get into to be honest especially when you're right at the light you have a half a second or so to think and get really quickly into launch control it's i just can't use it i usually don't use it at the track or anything like that